Hi guys, just going to take a look at We Kill Background. It's a notification center tweak to kill all your running background apps. So, if I have a look at my multitasking bar, I've got quite a few apps running. So, to kill all these in a traditional manner, you'd have to tap and hold until you get the close on each of them. And you'd have to individually tap to close each of your apps. That's a bit of a hassle. With We Kill Background in your notification center, you can basically just have this button here, it's called Kill All Apps, and it's done. All my apps are gone. Just got the music controls, and all of the apps have been killed. So, this is the pro version of We Kill Background, and there's a few settings in the settings menu, which I'll just take a look at now. So, We Kill Background Pro. First of all, general background. So you can change the actual height of the widget. So let's take a look at that. So now you see the height of Kill Apps has become much bigger. Uh, info icon alpha. There's an info, info icon. If you have it all the way turned down like I do, you won't see it at all. But you can turn that up. Now you can see the info button is visible. So it just gives you some information about how many times you've used it and a donate button and about button so that's pretty cool background style you can have the default or clear so you have the clear background Oops. that's how it looks with the clear background so I prefer the default you can use a custom background and put your own image in there and have that stretched to fit so you probably have to find an image that's uh, a suitable size for whichever size you want your background to be. You can change the label text. So if I change the text here from Killer Apps to Die Apps and the closing text we can change. I'll just simply say closing. And you can put a highlight on while it's closing. We'll just leave that, leave that off. You can change the font. Let's change that to blue. You can have a different font. So, uh, the font style you can have it condensed or regular. And the actual size of the font you can change. Let's make it a little bigger there. So let's take a look at that. Pull down. So Completely different, different font. Click on that. So it's closing. So we can exclude apps. So, for example, let's say we want to exclude Safari. So we never want to kill that one. Let's get out. Let's make sure Safari is open. That's that one done. Let's load a couple of other apps as well just to demonstrate this feature. And open SMS. Okay. So let's pull up. So you can see I've got a few apps running there with Safari. So now when I invoke the instructions to, to kill all the apps, closes, done. We're left with just Safari because that's on the exclusion list. So that works nicely. Let's head back into settings. Extras, we can dismiss when pressed, dismisses the notification center after you close all the apps. So let's have a look at what that's like. So do that, press close all apps, and the notification center goes away automatically. Uh, we can close and appear, close and exit. So this basically, as soon as you, if you have close and appear on, as soon as you pull down the notification center, all apps are automatically closed. And exit just does exactly the same, but when the notification center is exited. So let's turn that on. Make sure we've got some apps running. Just quickly get a few going. So there we go, a few apps running. So now, as soon as we exit the notification center, which is that, that should kill the apps. Apart from Safari, obviously, because that's still on the exclusion list. 
So yeah, that works nicely. So let's head back into settings. Uh, the final setting is you can have a timer set up so you can close every X minutes up to 120 minutes. So every two hours you can have the, the phone automatically close all your apps. You can set that between anything from half a minute right up to 120 minutes. So that's quite handy too. So that's a quick look at Weak Hill Background. It has a free version which simply adds a touch to close all app button in a place of where I had killer apps or die apps. So you don't have the ability to change that text on the regular free version. And, but uh, the pro version is available on Cydia. I'm not sure how much it was. I think it was about a dollar ninety nine or maybe ninety nine cents. But uh, not massively expen expensive, and a pretty handy tweak to have. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.